stay my blade from the flesh of the innocent. Hide in plain sight. Never compromise the Assassin Brotherhood. These are the tenets of the Creed. The principles I used to live by. I was a young man then. The Seven Years' War was about to begin. I could not have imagined what the future had in store for me. Nor the cost I would choose to bear. My name is Shay Patrick Cormac. This is my story. Well, we won't lack for firewood at least. Admit it. I nearly had you. <laughs> nearly counts for nothing, Shay. And besides, no. That was just luck. I make my own luck, Liam. Ah, you've been saying that for years, but you're precious little to show for it. Or have you been spending it all getting out of trouble? Well, you know, trouble just follows me around. Let's head back. Come on. Captain Deliver André and his crew must have run into some trouble. Who knew meeting the smugglers would lead to no good? I still don't understand why you can't tell me what we're doing here. Because Chevalier decided not to tell you. I thought we were friends, Liam. We are. But this is business. It doesn't concern you, Shay. Hurry. We'd best not keep Chevalier waiting. Oh, no. Where the hell were you two? We were out hunting. What happened here? My men were attacked by some English sea dogs. Why, Captain Joseph, couldn't you fight them all off by yourself like you're always saying? It is Capitaine Louis-Joseph Gauthier, Chevalier de la Vérandrie. And you are dreaming if you think any training could make you into a proper assassin. Do you even know what that means? It means being responsible for an ancient and proud tradition. It means obeying your mentor without question. How else will we ensure freedom for the human race? Them's pretty words, Chevalier. But I don't feel too free at the moment. Well then, feel educated! Viens, viens! I will teach you some manners, boy. Gentlemen, stop! We got a common enemy, and I reckon he's close. The Royal Navy attack my vessel and force my men to flee. We are stranded, and what is worse, the smugglers we were supposed to meet have been taken prisoner. Shay and I are free, those smugglers. You, treat your wounded. Take these. You'll need them. Tread with care, Shay. The Royal Navy be ready for us. Remember your training. Ready to teach them a lesson? They don't stand a chance. Where are your mates now, you bilge rat? Not bad. Talk before I back out your brains! We will find them and let Keep them bury what's left of them. The pals are still out there somewhere! There he goes again. Many thanks. I thought I'd be hanged. Yeah. 
I was saving those feathers for you. Very thoughtful. Maybe you were not completely useless, Sheik. Speaking of useless, those blockheads won't be needing this vessel anymore. This pile of mail? You want her, Shay? She is yours. Now bring me back to my ship. You heard, Chevalier? This vessel is yours, Shay. Go on. Take the wheel. Some of the men you rescued agreed to join us. They should prove a good crew. I'm not so certain about their captain, but next to me you are the most experienced sailor in the Brotherhood, Shay. Besides, we could use another vessel. Even this pitiful one. She's mine, ain't she? My own ship. Your own pile of garbage, yes. Ah, with a lick of paint and a few new cannons. She'll look as fine as anything on the Seven Seas. Shall we begin? What course would you have me set, Shay? Time to report back to the mentor. Wouldn't you agree? Wise words, Captain. Wise words. Virus? Emergency. Shit. Hang on, I'm getting you out of there. Please proceed to remain calm. Sorry for the rough exit. Your piece working, check. You were just an anonymous. Animus, yes? You were using it to access a genetic memory file in Helix labeled Shea Cormac? You work for Upstergo Entertainment, remember? Any of this ringing a bell? Your session triggered something bad, and it's affecting the whole building. We need to find your boss. You haven't forgotten your boss, have you? Melanie LeMay, zipper, chipper, overachiever? Here, take your communicator, check it if you get lost. Emergency. Now let's get out of here. Follow me. Double time. This chaos is absolutely your fault, in case you're wondering. Come on. Just like we practiced in our safety drills. Everything is gonna be okay, guys. Stay positive. What the hell is happening? A file labeled Shea Cormac was booby-trapped with some kind of virus. Your job is to prevent things like this. We need to contain these genetic memories, then we can destroy them. No. Isolate them. I want to study these memories. But... With respect, Miss LeMay, this is not a request. You heard the man. Fine. I need to borrow your numbskull. That okay with you, Miss LeMay? Hey there, this might seem a bit weird, but you're gonna work for contractors we hired to, you know, upgrade our security. Mr. Otto Berg and Ms. Violet DaCosta. Call me Violet. I have to go check on our people and prepare a statement for the press. Do whatever they tell you to do, okay? Go team! Technically, you're not responsible for this, but you're the one who let the virus out. So I think it's only fair you help me clean it up. Mr. Berg wants us to relive Shay's genetic memories. To do that, we need to access them from Helix. But the Helix is down. We'll have to reboot the main servers in the basement. Now that you have unlocked Shea Cormac's memories, we stand on the brink of a grand discovery. I know you must have questions about your new assignment, or about me. For now, all I will say is that Shea's story contains the answers. Shea will lead you to a greater understanding. <laughs> it has been a long time. Achilles. Adewale. How go things in the West Indies? 
Very poorly, I'm afraid. Your countenance tells me we should discuss this. Come. Who's our visitor? That's Adewale. Who's a slave who freed himself. And hundreds of his brothers in the West Indies. That man's a living incarnation of the Creed. See? You join me for some practice? Soon. I've got uh, other business first. Tell me what happened, old friend. It was terrible, Achilles. The ground shook, and the ocean waves crashed over Port-au-Prince. How many were lost? Thousands. No family was left untouched. I hate to bring up practical matters at a time like this. But did Mackendall's man complete his task before the earthquake hit? I cannot know. Von Gaudier has not been found. He was a strong maroon, one of Mackendall's best students. Such a shame. Are you still here? Find something so to do, or I will find something sight. for you. Indeed. But if there was a temple under the waves, I doubt it is still standing. And the artifacts that showed the way? Stolen. The Templars broke in during the chaos. They seized the manuscript and took us to us. We chased on the sea, but lost the trail. You are late. Oh, what did I miss? Only the first hour of training. We're always training, Kasegawase, and we'll continue to do so. Do not waste your words. Shea abhors improvement as much as cats abhor leashes. Hey. A pity. The boy has so much potential. But so little discipline. All right. All right. What would you have me do? Well played. So, what's the challenge today? Shooting straight and true. Here, you can use these. These are yours. Well, I want you to have half a chance of succeeding. Go on. Say, I hear you've become quite the marksman. Generous gift. Thank you, Venter. My ship awaits, Achilles. The people of Haiti will make good use of your supplies. I trust you will retrieve what has been lost. Lost? The Templars stole two precious artifacts. A manuscript of ancient wisdom and a box that allows one to understand its language. I have tracked the Templar as far as his coast, but I fear the rest is up to you, my friend. Farewell, Adiwale. Whoever controls the artifacts can access precursor sites of power. We must recover them, or none are safe. Where to? Wherever Templar affairs lead us. Liam, it's not like you to set out without a plan. Plan or no plan, we choose our own battlefield. And hey, we're not most at ease when we're at sea. Right you are. Let's set sail. Trust me, you will sell those lobster by the tongue in France. Ah, the cabbage farmer has returned. About time. We have a lead on that curious manuscript. I'd be surprised if you can read it. No one can read it, imbecile. This is why the Templar are taking so long with it. But one of our ally has caught a glimpse of their work. A pirate? A spy who worked with the pirate. We set sail for Anticosti. That should prove a good test for this floating cesspit you call a ship. How trustworthy are the pirates? I consider them brothers, Shay. When the time comes, they will lend aid and help us fight the Templars. If only the roast beef would realize the Templars were pulling their strings. Are the Templars truly in control in the colonies? Not quite, but their influence reaches far and wide. And what about the spy we're meeting? You need not worry about Le Chasseur. He is loyal to the Brotherhood. As it happens, he also has friends in both the French and English fleets. And he knows more about what goes on in these parts than you can ever hope to learn. So, Liam, what could you tell me about Adewale? You obviously admire the man. Aye. I had the honor of working with him once. 
I've never known anyone who'd done so much for our cause. It's much more than that. Adi Wale was already a legend before joining the Brotherhood. He was a pirate. The scourge of the West Indies. Rubbing elbows with the likes of Blackbeard, Woods Rogers, and Calico Jack Rackham. Calico who? Oh, read a book, will you? About 20 years ago, Adewali intercepted a Templar convoy and stole a mysterious package. He traveled to Port-au-Prince and entrusted it to a woman he believed was loyal to our cause. That's me guess. She wasn't. Uh, she was, very much so. The package eventually found its way to Francois Macandal, mentor of the Haitian Brotherhood. What is it? The very box we're seeking. Salt air, open skies, a man out on the ocean is as free as a man can be. What do you say, Liam? We're out here for a reason, Shay. Mind your duty. But what's the point of freedom if you cannot breathe deep and enjoy it? The Templars stick to this continent like tar. I won't feel liberated until we pry them off. There it is. Anticristi. Le chasseur should be there. And with any luck, he will know where to find that manuscript. Turn us off the wind! So, Luigi. Take a look at this. I borrowed these plans from a Royal Navy ship of the line. They are like nothing I have ever seen. Good. We could use some more powerful weapons. Le Chasseur, allow me to present our associate, Shea Cormac. Gentlemen, I have news. On this same ship, I spied the manuscript you seek. It was written in an exotic language I did not recognize and was full of drawings, plants, and animals out of an opium dream. Where to no charts, no, no, no maps? No. There may have been some kind of code, but neither I nor the roast beefs could get Where's the manuscript now? The man who brought it said a man named Washington sent him. I know that name. He's an important Templar, isn't he? He is. Lawrence Washington has great ambitions that Templars have helped fulfill. Shay, let's return and find him. You, sir, have our thanks. Templars desire to understand the nature of these artifacts. Their spies have called upon many doctors and other learned people in New York. They have also approached many tribes with questions. Yeah, they've been showing that manuscript far and wide. No one can read the strange writing or understand the images. We do have a name, though. We learned that Lawrence Washington sent out the manuscript. Lawrence Washington. Businessman, Virginian politician, and high-ranking Templar. Why, well, yes. I recently heard he was back from the West Indies. One of my men saw his major domo pick up a strange package. Then that package will be delivered to him promptly. Shay, figure out what it is and find Washington. And when you do, learn all you can. I'll prepare the Morrigan. Brother, are you sure you shouldn't be in bed? I am fine, George. Be a good host for my sake. Go to the wine cellar and get something special for our guests. I will. Gentlemen. <coughs> My brother is a bright spot in a troubled land. If I may make one request before I depart this life, please leave him in peace. He should have nothing to do with the troubles of the Templar cause. We all respect that sentiment, sir. You have my thanks, gentlemen. Master Smith, are you ready to leave on your voyage? Aye, sir. I shall return with answers. Master Wardrop, are you likewise engaged with the manuscript? Yes, sir. We will soon know its meaning. Then I bid you take your leave. <laughs> Washington can barely stand on his own two feet. Better be right about him, Liam. Because I'm about to murder a dying man. <laughs> you 
not too late, assassin. It's never too late to ruin Templar plans, Master Washington. <coughs> but my plans are already in motion. Even leading you here <coughs> has given my allies time to escape. <coughs> Thank you for making my end a quick one. And thank you for revealing your master plan, you scheming snake. The memory appears to be fragmented. How much time has passed? A few months, I think. That virus is cutting off our access to complete memories. The readable, but messy. The Seven Years' War will soon break out in the colonies. Focus on assassin interference. We'll do our best. Won't we, numbskull? Chevalier, what happened to your vessel? I got myself into a bit of a scrape. Sent three ship in all hand to their watery grave. The Giafu nearly followed them down. Just your fate has been better, Le Chasseur. Indeed. My sources inform me that Samuel Smith has searched far and wide, looking for answers on how to make that strange box work. He just returned from Europe. Where is he now? Refitting his schooner. If you hurry. You can catch him... there. Oh, remember those blueprints? Well, I had an engineer build that marvelous weapon for your ship. Master Pucker's gun fires more shots than an artillery brigade, and twice as fast. Many thanks. Anything for my wooded friends. What about Smith, then? Is he close by? And he may have the precursor. That's the Royals and Tops! There. Get me there he is! Me. Most fortunate timing! Lady Luck never ceases to smile on you! He's seen us! Give chase! But hold your fire! We must not damage the box or risk losing it to the sea. Can't this bucket go any faster? At least my ship is still seaworthy, Chevalier. Our target's a smart man, but out of his element here. Samuel Smith is the Templar's treasurer. What he's doing in these places is To meet someone, or rather to the pirates. He's the ship. Something must have happened. Come first. We can't take him. We're forced to be. Look, Captain. He's cutting through the ice. It seems you're not the only one equipped with such a ram, shape. Let us hope ours fares just as well. The ice Fire! Is what wickedness is this? Another Templar tactic. They can cover whole stretches of ocean with their flames. Careful, Shay. We could be burnt to cinders. It's nothing more than a last desperate throw of the dice. He knows we have him. Be Take careful, careful blow, Captain! Careful. It's quite a rough squall, Captain. Leave the top says and gallants. Nature? Now we know where he was headed. Barsett has an encampment here. Follow him on land. Do not even think of firing the ship's weapons near that precious box. I'll take care of this.
You will regret this! <clears throat> this cannot be! <clears throat> no! Do you even know what that is? An ancient artifact. Treasure from those who came before. Yes. It matters not. <coughs> Some of the greatest scientific minds of all Europe could not make it work. <coughs> now all I need is the manuscript, and all shall be revealed. Got the precursor box. Smith's dead. Well done, Shane. Where's Chevalier? Returning to Ligure Full. I have to celebrate without him, I'm afraid. I don't much feel like celebrating him. I know we have to get these artifacts back, but at what cost? Samuel Smith. He could barely hold his sword straight. Killing him was... Necessary. But... But nothing. Smith was a dangerous man. A Templar. And what's worse, he had the precursor box. You should be proud of yourself, Shay. Perhaps. You're here. Congress is still in session. George Washington and his militia have fired on French troops under Jumonville. The French are calling it an act of war. George Washington. You mean Lawrence's younger brother? Yeah, it's the same. Speaking of Lawrence Washington, but you eliminated him. James Wardrop has moved up in ranks. All the Templar resources are at his disposal now. What about the manuscript? My sources in New York confirm that Wardrop has it. I also learned that he is here at the Congress under heavy guard. Shay, find Wardrop. Get that manuscript. This place is thick with Templar troops. Liam and I will make sure he doesn't escape. Ah, that must be the Templar William Johnson. Perhaps he has the manuscript, or knows where it is. As I have stated previously, I believe we need a national union, granted by an act of parliament, but bringing greater independence to our colonies. The French are an immediate threat, and we are ill-prepared to face them. To put it bluntly, the colonies must join. Die. A rousing speech, Master Franklin. But do you truly believe Great Britain will grant our colonies autonomy? They have little choice, Master Johnson. You know the remoteness of this frontier better than most. Yes. But let us leave politics for another day. I wanted to thank you for your research. Of course. Of course. In the brief time I could examine that box, I could tell it was something unique. From ancient Egypt, you said? Well, as I mentioned in my letter, I am quite ready to electrify it. Excellent. We will have the box delivered shortly. As for the manuscript... Captain? I apologize, sir. But Master Wardrop refused to hand it over. He said the risks were too great. The risks? Ah. I apologize. You will have the manuscript and the box in the briefest of delays. You made the excuse for a uniform. Run to Fort Frederick and tell Master Wardrop he had better cough up the manuscript post-haste. Else I will have him scalped. I can't let that lobster captain reach Wardrop. Keep pace till he tires. I'll take that, you Templar dog. No! You have no idea what you're doing, fool! Keeping the people free from your control. How free will you be when the French undermine these squabbling colonies? These colonies would be far better off without the Templars pulling the strings. <laughs> we bring order from chaos. If everything is permitted, 
No one is safe. Even the devil can quote scripture to suit his own purposes. I have the manuscript. Great. Hope is waiting for you in Sleepy Hollow. What's in Sleepy Hollow? Benjamin Franklin. The man Johnson hired to make that strange precursor box work. So what's the plan? Meet Hope. Personally, one of Johnson's men. And give the box of manuscript to Franklin. So I'm a messenger then? Aye. See if this Franklin can figure out how this damn box operates. And stay with him. Oh, and as far as we can tell, this man doesn't know about the Templars, or the Assassins for that matter. Oh, a simple task. <laughs> for a simple man. You're late. The sky is getting temperamental. That's not the only thing, is it? Now, Master Franklin, sir. My name is Shay, and this is my associate Hope. William Johnson told us to give you these. Ah. Oh. Thank you, but I'm afraid I must delay my experiment. Delay it? Why? The army confiscated my lightning rods. They are essential to conducting the electricity. I need to vivify your box. Master Johnson would not want you to have to wait. Perhaps there is something you can do, then. Soldiers have been hauling things away all day. Perhaps they could tell you where they've taken my lightning rods so you could get them back. At your service, sir. Begin your investigation at the market near the docks. I will stay here and help with the preparations. This is intolerable. I can barely conduct my research anymore. Shay! Thank goodness! Quick! Help me with the rods! Portugal, Lisbon, I'd stake my life on it. Make yourself scarce, Shay. The militia will be here any minute. I'm sure they will have questions. What about you? I'm a devoted housekeeper. Right. Lisbon is near as large as London or Paris. Are you sure you can find this one place? Sword clear as day, Hope. It's a convent, right close by the harbor. I might have visited the sisters once or twice. Given your present knowledge of the site, this duty falls upon you. You understand what must be done? Find the Precursor Temple and retrieve the Peace of Eden. Finally obtained a ship for crossing the ocean. I have no worries. I will keep the Morrigan safe in New York. Thank you. Liam and I will leave straight away. Liam is unavailable at present. Your crew and ship await. Be careful, Shay. Pieces of Eden are powerful relics. Feast of all saints. What a sight. And here I am, looking for a relic from the time before Adam and Eve. <laughs> Strange days indeed. Benedictus es Domine, 
Deus universi qui ad tua largitate accepimus vinum, quotivi offerimus fructum vitis et operis manum hominum, ex quo nobis fiet This must be it. The precursor site. What do we have here? The artifact. Do this to them. God had nothing to do with this. So what's the next city you want me to smite? What happened in Haiti happened in Portugal. A great earthquake. Thousands dead next to your damned manuscript. This cannot be. Jay, a person cannot start an earthquake. A person meddling with these precursor machines could. You saw the box, Hope. The temple was filled to bursting with that kind of power. You made me slaughter innocents! How dare you! You defend him? Achilles sent me in there like Makandal sent his man in Haiti. What he the hell is going on? Stop this! The operation was delicate. Perhaps you... You are shifting the earth itself. Who are you to decide what city falls next? Get him out of here. Liam is a fool if he thinks I'll leave this be. Achilles cannot be trusted. He must never find another precursor temple. I don't care that he's mentor, or that his family is dead. There's no excuse for this level of madness. No turning back now. I had such hopes for you, Shay. Achilles, I have to do this. And what is it you're doing exactly? Stealing from your brothers? Betraying me? Someone must make amends. Make amends? You have no idea what you're doing. The future of the whole continent, maybe the whole world, is tied up in that manuscript. Perhaps. But we don't have the right to decide that future. The right? We have the responsibility! We are responsible for killing innocents and destroying cities. This 
mad grab for power. It ends now. I will not let you destroy everything we have built! Assassins! Stop him! Stop Shay! That's enough! Give back the manuscript, Shay! I'm sure Achilles- I cannot! I will not let this happen again! All those souls lost! One more hardly matters. Shay! What is this? A glitch in the memories. There seems to be more data. Okay, Numskull. I can't pull you out of the chair right now. You'll just have to see this through. This is bizarre. These memories seem to take place some 20 years after the one we just saw. Are you certain? Positive. This means... Shay must have survived that fall. If he is the man I believe him to be, then he has. Keep going. The data is fragmented. This memory is incomplete. Let me see what I can do. Listen up. We need to find out what Shay's up to. This memory's gonna look a little rough. But I'm like 90% sure sequencing this memory won't kill you. All right, Nelson. We don't know where Shay is or what he's doing there. So keep your eyes and ears open. I want to know the reason Shay came to this place. You heard the man. Let's move. Et alors Vous l'avez trouvé Ouais, Benjamin Franklin est à Notre-Dame. Si on se magne, on devrait le rattraper. Arrêtez de vous branler Allons-y Benjamin Franklin. That's who Shay is after. Franklin traveled to England and France, and that guy said Notre-Dame. Shay must be in Paris. Time to show me what you got. Eliminate the threat. Protect Franklin. Shit! What happened? That's all the data we have. We can't explore this memory further. For now. Shay couldn't have died, then appeared in France 20 years later. We're missing something. Shay's memories are scattered in chunks throughout the cloud. The servers are messed up from the virus, so we can't access all of Shay's life at once. You hit a wall, and I'm busy with something. Why do you go meet Otto Berg? You'll find him squatting in one of the offices. Shay Cormac is an assassin. But he is unlike the ones you have used for your entertainment products in the past. I believe Shay may be the most important assassin who ever lived. Your research will help me achieve something I have wanted for a very long time. Shay's story may have something to offer you as well. There's another server we can access to get to the next chunk of Shay's memories. Excellent. I'm gonna need the numbskull back if we're gonna proceed. Your next task is clear, but please reflect on what we have discussed. Hi. Good to see you're feeling better. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Finnegan, was it? Sweet Mother Mary. Have we taken in the village idiot? Barry! Remember, Shay? I'm Cassidy. And this is... Barry! You've been ill for weeks. 
I hate to have been a virgin. See? He's a civilized fella. Aye, for a clumsy deckhand. Probably fell off his ship half drunk. Barry! He's right. What do y'all want? <gasps> What's going on? Thank you, Shay. In my younger days, I could have taken them one-handed. Why were these men bothering you? Ah, oh, the usual. They feel they're owed money because they're not Harmon's citizens. Mark me words, those gangs are going to be the downfall of this city. Wait here, I have something for you. It won't do you any good walking around Starkers. Here, try these on. They were our sons. I suppose if you're looking for trouble, you'll be needing these. Thank you. <gasps> Don't you look a right, gentlemen? Gas. Did I have a book with me? Mm, just those peculiar weapons. Thank you both. If you'll excuse me. The manuscript is at the bottom of the Atlantic. You again! You will regret this! The Finnegans are dead! Hear me? Dead! Putting your nose in other people's business ain't nice! Push it. No. Do not even enter this place. What have you and your friends got against the Finnegans? Uh, I got no gripe. Uh, my boss sent me over. Ah. And where is he set up? Y you can't miss it. There's always black smoke rising from the courtyard of that building. That will help us smoke. Be at ease, Master Cormac. We are friends. The Finnegans were worried you might take matters into your own hands. I am Colonel George Monroe. Colonel? I came to help, but I see I am late. Thank you for dealing with these foul criminals. They were a blight on New York. What do you care? You redcoats are nothing but landlords. The townsfolk here are grinding away, trying to make a living. I cannot blame you for having that impression. Some of my comrades have been less than helpful. But I take a different approach. And what is that? I care. I want to see these colonists safe and prosperous. Noble words. Perhaps actions will convince you otherwise, Master Cormac. Here. Reclaim what they have stolen. Now, let us use some of that money for the good of the city. I realize you have no reason to trust me, Master Cormac. You said you were a friend of the Finnegans. I am. Their late son worked for me. You are much like him. Oh, so? He cared. And he wanted to do good by the people. We shared a dream, he and I, that of making the world a better place. 
Mere survival is not enough. Full bellies, warm clothing. Freedom from want is the greatest freedom of all. It almost sounds like you have goodwill towards the people you govern. I do not govern, Master Cormac. I merely assist. See this neglected edifice, Master Cormac? We can make it better. Urban renewal is a new science, but one that has already proven effective on the continent. I have arranged for resources. Use them to improve that building. What fine work! The neighborhood would be much better now. I suspect New York will prosper under your watch, Master Cormac. You can do great things for this city and its citizens. After all, a man needs purpose. Farewell for now, Master Cormac. The Colonel strikes me as an honorable man. Someone who wants to do what's right. And he may have a point. With everything that has happened. With what I've done. Shay! Colonel Monroe told us what happened. You, sir, are a fool. But thanks. <laughs> Master Cormac, I am sorry to bother you when you were barely out of your sick bed. No, I... I've had enough of being cooped up. Then perhaps you could get a friend of mine out of trouble. He discovered a nest of criminals developing strange weapons. Look at these. Bullets as loud and bright as firecrackers. If we might have a moment alone. His name is Christopher Gist. And he might be in over his head. I fear these brutes will hang him like a dog. I will not let those outlaws have another victim. Good. The villains are entrenched at Old Fort Arsenal. I have urgent business in Albany. Please tell Master Gist to join me there. We are hanging the men in the old fort. Oh, don't be ashamed to miss that. <laughs> Good show, Shay. Ran them right out of their own dead. Well, I was looking for a new place to live. Well, don't put your name on the door yet. There may be a few men left on their ship. Look, the bird is nested right over there. The Morgan. What is Shay doing there? That's my ship, friend. Begging your pardon, but I must go fetch her back from those louts. Oh, wait! I can hardly let you do that alone. Help me if you can, then. She's a fine ship. And true to my word, I found a crew for her. I did leave one position unfilled, though. Tell me, Shay, do you have a first mate? He's long gone. Then I apply for the post, Captain. Welcome aboard. As your first mate, may I suggest our next destination? The Colonel will be expecting me to report back. My thoughts exactly. Colonel Monroe said he'd be in Albany. Splendid! In good health, I see. Yeah, thanks for the captain here. Tis a fine vessel, Captain Cormac. Thank you, Colonel Monroe. Master Gist, did you learn more about our conspirators and their new weapons? Well, only that their base of operations is a French fort further downriver. It's a little close for comfort, isn't it? If the French have installed a fort in our territory, they are likely preparing an assault. 
New York could burn. Will you join us, Master Cormac? Aye. Enough innocents have died already. Might I suggest we improve our vessel? The Morrigan is good, but with a few more supplies, she could be unstoppable. And you know, there's a French outpost nearby I happen to know. I like the sound of that. Hey! What sort of business are the French up to there? Just occupying the territory? It is an economic incursion more than a geographical one. Some of the ruffians are sponsored by enemies of the colonists. They intend to undermine local... They're too close to Bryce! I've heard they steal from civilians and resell essential goods ship. for ten times the chase. price. Screw the it's pepper. always the little fella who gets skinned. Enemy firing! Well, this here seem inspired. Is there something in the water? Or in the whiskey? Now why do you say that? I simply want these colonies to be a place of safety, development, and purpose. Funny. I thought rich men wanted them to be a place of profit. I am not a rich man, Master Cormac. Money is a means to an end. Floating cargo not for the an taking, end in and of itself. Says you. I think it's a fine end to a game of cards. The chasseur. Say. It has been so long. Were you on a special mission? Yes. From Achilles. How interesting. So am I. Don't make me do this, Le Chassar! Do what? Assassinate me? I thought that was your specialty. We could both just leave. Ah, but then I would tell your brothers that you are alive. You have to kill me. You are always good at your business, Shay. As were you. Tell me, what are you doing in land? Special weapons. Poisonous gases to use against colonial authorities. I am merely a delivery man. Then may your final delivery be swift. The chasseur was right. Had no other choice. If the assassins find out I'm alive, they'll come after me. Ah, Master Cormac. What you have learned from Le Chasseur was confirmed. The local lawbreakers are changing tactics. What's their plan now? Their boss has hired Benjamin Franklin to produce new weapons for them. He's very well guarded. Benjamin Franklin? The scientist? You have heard of him. Good. He is making equipment to spread gases among the populace. Toxic ones, as it turns out. The populace? I thought they would use it against the authorities. Though that would be terrible as well. The ruffians we have arrested refer to an intimidating woman. I believe she is behind these nefarious plans. I look into this. Thank you. Hope. I pray it's not you. Shay! Oh, it is good to see you again. Your friend Hope said you were away. I, I, I was. Uh, sir, I, I've come to collect the results of your experiments. Oh, well, it's a very good thing then. I just finished fixing the prototype. Here you go. I was preparing to leave for Philadelphia, and then Europe. I was invited to lecture in London. Oh, would you be so kind as to inform Mistress Hope? Uh, of course. Go. 
God, Hope. What are you doing with these felons? Turning the city against itself. What have you become? Something the matter, Master Cormac? Uh, no, no. Yes, just old memories. When I am issued new recruits, burdened with regrets, I tell them the surest way to lose them is with gunpowder. You're right, Colonel. There is an abandoned factory nearby hiding a dangerous poison. Right now, it only causes sleep. But I fear those outlaws are distilling it. A more powerful formula could sicken or perhaps even kill most of New York. Then that's my first target. Be careful, Master Cormac. We understand that the ingredients are highly unstable. All the better. This is dangerous! We collect protection. We run brothels. We import and export whatever the people want. Must get out, or I'm as good as dead. Do you really think we can't catch you? <laughs> What marvelous destruction, Captain. I saw the smoke all the way from the Morrigan. That should discourage those miscreants. New York is safe for now. With all due respect, Colonel, it's going to take more than a few explosions to get rid of this kind of trouble. The boy is right, Colonel Monroe. Shay, was it? Congratulations. You just burned a whole lot of rats out of New York. I'm Jack Weeks. This is William Johnson. I don't know about him, but I'm pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. It is, uh, terribly dusty here. I'm sure Shea can recount his adventures to us over a pint. Hey, the first round's on, uh, the Colonel, huh? <laughs> Something the matter, Master Cormac? Just a little confused. I, uh, must have breathed some of that gas. Some ale will do you good. Come, we are all friends here. You will be taken care of. Dear Master Cormac, my apologies for the brevity of this missive, but it is time we were honest with one another. You have demonstrated your loyalty and resourcefulness to the Templar cause, and this despite and perhaps because of your assassin origins. The manuscript the assassins sought has been in my possession for some time. I reclaimed it when my men found you marooned. The Grand Master himself charged me to discover its meaning, a task I regret I have failed to complete. I leave it in your charge, Master Cormac. There is no one else I trust more. Now I leave for Fort William Henry, an ill-prepared garrison surrounded by hostile natives and the French army. We have requested reinforcements, but I doubt they will be forthcoming. 
I have no illusions that our resistance will be successful. I commit my life to the British Army and my soul to the Father of Understanding. Yours, Colonel George Monroe. Shay, you are a sight for sore eyes. Jack? Colonel Monroe surrendered to General Moncal. The French and their Abenaki allies took Fort Henry. Johnson was supposed to bring reinforcements here. I don't see anyone else. The Abenaki are restless. They don't understand the terms of surrender and refuse to heed Moncal. The colonel and his men were released this morning. They're walking into an ambush. Wait here in case Johnson arrives. I'll... I'll protect the colonel. Thank you. Maybe I can finally repay my debt to him. I hope I'm not too late. Lots of them. Master Cormac. Sir, we must hurry. We should bring what's left of your man to the Morgan. A welcome offer, Captain Cormac. Follow me. Safe passage is ahead. So if you don't mind me asking, what happened at Fort William Henry? Poor planning and poor luck, I am afraid. Montcalm was able to bombard us for days. Damn frog. Actually, he acted with great honor. When we sent for Parley, he returned an offer far more generous than anticipated. We kept our arms, and more importantly, our colors. Only to walk into a trap. I would hardly expect the French to defend us. Would you? No, I wouldn't. You continue to prove your loyalty to the Templars, Master Cormac. Risking your life for me. We're not out of the woods yet, Colonel. As for my loyalty, well, I do owe you, don't I? You saved my life. You gave me a second chance. We have been working together for you. During that time, you have rendered many great services. Whatever debt you imagine you have towards me is paid, would you say? Perhaps. You live! Attack! Take cover! Segawasa will not relent. Because Segawasa, you know this man, Master Cormac. Aye, Colonel. He is one of Achilles' men. An assassin, as I was. So they know I am a Templar. And now this assassin knows you live. And work with Templars. I'm no fool, Colonel. The assassins will come after me next. We're both targets now. You know that's a trap, right? Indeed, Master Cormac. But we have little choice. We survived French cannons, we will survive this. Loose the sails! You heard the captain, men! Let's get out of here! Move! Move! Shay! I owe you my life, Master Cormac. As do I, Colonel. We have much to discuss. However, I must tend to my troops. Sir, I will accompany you to Johnson's training post at Onokwaga. Then I shall depart at once, Master Cormac. Meet me there. So, Colonel, it seems my life has an open book to you. Men from my regiment found you delirious and half-drowned. I did not know who you were, but what you were was obvious. I brought you to the Finnegans for care. Their late son was one of our order. Master Johnson was furious. It was a risk, but I suspected you might have left your brothers behind. 
Colonel, the manuscript, why return it to me? Because, Master Cormac, you earned my trust. It could not be in better hands. Respectfully, sir, I'm more of a target than you now. Gentlemen, Kesegawase is rallying to Storm Albany. His allies threaten a friendly Oneida village, and French troops have already entered our territory. Might be able to delay the French and help the Oneida. We will ready the defenses in Albany. If we are to defeat Kasegawase and his allies, I need to help the Oneida and see what I can do about the French. Make sure you find them all! <laughs> Truly noble. My thanks, friend. Venerable one, my name is Shea Patrick Cormick. I, I am a friend. A friend indeed. You have the gratitude of my people, she, Patrick Cormac. For as long as you shall walk this earth, you will have a place here among us. I th it is Thanks. I who thank you, young man. Would you be so kind as to walk with me? And the devil! What happened here? Kesegawase. Well, then we are too late. No. Fort Fredericks is nearby. I'm sure the Colonel can hold it. You heard the Captain, lads! Make haste! This is Kesegawase's work, isn't it? I believe it is. But I've not yet seen the devil. The manuscript. You keep it safe. Bring it to the Morrigan. That's an order. Who are you to give me orders? I outrank you. I'm not part of your army, Colonel. I'll take care of the defenses until you get back. Look at sick of what's it? Templar dog! You truly believe you can best me, traitor? You're just a normal no. man! No. to be this way. It did. You are an enemy. Achilles will see you dead. What he's doing is wrong. Who are you to touch? The Templars will fail. You will fail. Monroe is already dead. What do you mean? Liam. Uh, uh. The colonel was heading for the dock. A huge man with an axe was chasing the colonel. The colonel! He's trapped inside!
take the manuscript. An assassin took it. Liam. I'll get it back. I swear it. Shay. Do you swear to uphold the principles of our order and all that for which we stand? I do. And never to share our secrets nor divulge the true nature of our work? I do. And to do so from now until death, whatever the cost? I do. Then we welcome you into our fold, brother. You are now a Templar, harbinger of a new world. May the Father of Understanding guide us. May, May the, the Father, Father of, of Understanding, understanding guide, guide us. us. Do you understand now? I'm starting to see why you're so interested in Shay Cormac. Shay has seen the true face of the world, and he has chosen his path accordingly. A similar choice will soon present itself to you. This office used to belong to a man named Olivier Garneau. He was my predecessor as chief creative officer of Abstergo Entertainment. Otto Berg is a representative from our parent company, Abstergo Industries. He's showing you the true history of the world, just like they showed me. Olivier was kind, he was intelligent and passionate about our work, but a year ago, he caught a glimpse of this truth. They never found his body. This is not the way we normally bring people up to speed on these matters, but you've worked hard and are proving yourself, so... I'm granting you level two security access. The servers on this floor should unlock more of Shay's memories. Shit! What's happening? Another glitch? Same one as before. Shay's back at Notre Dame. See if you can complete the memory this time. Shay's in Paris, all right. I even got a date for you. 1776. At this point in time, Franklin was the American ambassador to France. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Otto Berg, professional killer and amateur historian. What are you doing? I have no quarrel with you! You, uncultured swine! You should not have left your backwater colony! Well, I'll return to Boston. Philadelphia, actually. Oh, so he's a comedian too. Help! Help! Hey! Hey! Uh, hey! Uh. Shay? Is that you? Ah, how long has it been? Yeah. Uh. Where are my manners? Thank you, my friend, thank you. But what are you doing in Paris? With all due respect, sir, this is no time to talk. You're still in danger. Yes, I... I must return to my family.
How? How did you do that? It was quite... fortunate. I make my own look, Master Franklin, as I suspect you do. Yes, indeed, my good fellow. Yet, without your assistance today... Well, you have my thanks, Shay. Is there anything I can do for you to repay you for this uh, kindness? Actually, there is. I need to meet a business acquaintance. I heard he would be at the Chateau de Versailles two days from now. And they don't just let anyone inside the royal palace. Very well. I'll see what can be arranged. That's the best we can do for now. We keep trying to sequence memories out of order, which is why we're crashing like this. What do you suggest? If we progress further with Shay's life in the colonies, I'm confident we can get better results from these Paris memories. Very well. Keep me informed. Uploading the next memory sequence now. Shay Cormac, I hear you are the Templar's new don of precursor archaeology. I'm no expert, sir. I just witnessed what the assassins can do with those damn sites. I have spent years investigating precursor leads. Tell me what you have seen. Well, I know both the assassins and Templars are looking for pieces of Eden. Powerful weapons, mind control and apples, but this time it's different. We haven't found an apple, but a tree. These temples hold the earth together like roots. Disturb them, and Haiti falls, or... Lisbon, or any other place the manuscript shows. And the assassins are blindly interfering with these structures? Aye. And if we don't stop them, they'll continue destroying cities. I see. We have intelligence of assassin activity in the Lubeberg Fortress. We'll be meeting with a Royal Navy officer, James Cook. He recently gained a commission that could be strategically valuable. Gist has the charts. Very well. I'll depart shortly. Colonel Monroe spoke highly of you, Shay. He was convinced you could become the best among us. I expect you will not disappoint. I don't plan to, sir. Welcome aboard, gentlemen. Good to see you again, Captain. Captain Shay Cormac, Captain James Cook. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Pleasure's mine, sir. Captain Cook uncovered a rather distressing stratagem, which I fear confirms our own intelligence. Indeed. As we speak, our Royal Navy fleet is on its way to Louisbourg. However, the French have drawn up a preemptive strike against it if they launch this attack. Obviously, we cannot allow that to happen. Gentlemen, the Battle of Louisbourg could very well be the turning point which will finally bring this war to a close. I don't know about you, but I've had enough of war. Then may I suggest you take the wheel, Captain Cormac? I think you might enjoy piloting a vessel with real, uh, firepower. I believe I shall, Captain. Dear God, fire ships. Should they break through, they would devastate our fleet. Then we'd better not let that happen. I recognize that vessel, sir. It's the Experto Credit. And Wally. How fortunate Priorities. We have to get rid of Clues up, these are sticks. Bustle your tops. Fire. Ready to fire, Captain.
There's the Royal Navy. We cleared the way just in time, Captain Cormac. The tide of war is turning. That was quite a crack, wasn't it? It is too soon for celebrations. And Wale is still out there. I'm sure we'll get another turn to dance with him, Master Kenway. Kenway seems determined to destroy Adewale. Aren't you? He's a powerful man in his own right, and a symbol of hope for the assassins. Eliminating him would shake them to their core. It would, I know. But it seems a shame. He's a good man, Gist. So was the Elder Washington, and Smith. I rather enjoyed drinking with him. War drop too, though the man could not hold his liquor. He and Weeks never got along. If you're trying to test my conscience, Gist, you've succeeded. We live in a time of war, Shay, but it's always wartime for us. I sound like my uncle Jedediah. He was an old sourpuss. Let me tell you. Another time, Gist. Aye, sir. <laughs> Look what the wind just blew in. Hail and good morrow, gentlemen. Once again, Captain Cook's resourcefulness has served us well. I have located the man you were seeking. Adewale? Exactly. He was last seen in the French fort not two leagues from here along the river. What would that scallywag be doing in a French fort? Refitting his vessel, I suppose, after Louisbourg. Thank you, Master Cook. We'll take it from here. Farewell and Godspeed, gentlemen. The fort's just up ahead. Good. Let us continue onward. Saints for service! What is that doing here? That makes no sense. Those rivers barely have enough draft for an ocean-going vessel. Should be nearly impossible to maneuver. Maneuverability is hardly the point. Well, I don't intend to find out the point. Let's stay out of her way. We can find our way around her. Just keep to the smaller rivers where she can't follow. And do try to remain unseen. We don't want to attract unwanted attention. Why would the French bring such a ship inland? As the war is drawing to its close, they're becoming desperate. They'll expend any efforts to gain firepower. No offense to Captain Cook, but that lady has more firepower than any I've had the pleasure of meeting. Hey! He's getting away. If only he'd stand still and fight me. Adewale is facing you on his own terms, picking the battlefield. And on his own ship, he is most deep. Fight those barters! And we'll be swimming home tonight! Don't you worry, sir. Shay has gotten us out of China to break the And the lake ahead is a dead end. And a Wally won't be able to get out. I don't like that wind, sir! his ship a novel tactic he's saving his crew no he's making a last stand let's not disappoint him follow him shay i will try to corner him Become half the man he was. It will be a blessing. blessing You're quick, boy. Not very clever. You will die as a traitor.
Forgive me, Atawale. You dare beg forgiveness, child? Hell welcomes traitors like you. Then I go there proudly, knowing I have done right. It does not matter. Achilles already has what he needs. I will kill every last man who defends him if I must. I cannot let him succeed. You have become a monster, she. Perhaps I have. Come. At this point, the war's not really over, but the French have lost their momentum in the colonies. The Templars can now focus entirely on the Assassins. They still have hundreds of men working for them in New York. Let us see what role Shay plays. What is our progress on the Precursor matter? We are gathering ships and supplies, but it is difficult without a specific destination. My men can help. I have enough to spare for a crew as well, Chevalier. Hope has found a way to reproduce Master Franklin's experiment. We'll soon uncover the next Precursor site. And you are confident you can do this? I am a keen observer, Mentor. The device will be ready shortly. Very good. Keep me apprised. Things are worse than we feared. The Assassins found a way to make the Precursor Box work. They're already preparing an expedition. Then we must stop them. Hope controls hundreds of men. And the authorities are doing sod all. What if we were to impersonate her men? We could commit a crime so big. They couldn't ignore those damn brigands anymore. That sounds like an excellent plan, Jack. Make it so. I will find out where the Assassins are hiding. Is it just me, or did the boss tell us to make trouble? Enjoy it while you can, Shay. Get him, Shay. We'll need them. I think we're being followed. You're right. Let's move. Don't we make a disgraceful pair of crooks? No. I make this look good. So what's the target? The military pay. We'll have to hurry. Our regiment is already on its way to the fort where the coins are kept. Great. And I suppose you have a plan. The fort holds many prisoners. Get in and hoist the gang's colors. When you do, I'll free them. You're going to free a bunch of criminals working with the assassins. Well, we have to turn the army against them, don't we? Remember. You raise the flag, and I'll raise hell! What on earth happened here? The prisoners got loose. They had help from outside. There were just too many of them. Well then, we're going to have to fix that, aren't we? It's about time we took those criminals down. Work, Jack. With a little luck, the army will crush those damn brigands. I make my own luck. Where is your boss? I'll never tell. She'll kill me. If you don't tell, he'll kill you. She's in that big mansion. The one with the gardens. Shall we go? You didn't mention you had a hidden blade. You thought you were the only one? Well, 
Yes, I suppose. Where did you get that? It was donated by the Brotherhood. I see. Our mission was a success. The army should make its move any time now. Good. We like the resources in New York to handle these criminals ourselves. With a little luck, we might be rid of them once and for all. I make my own look. Now let us cut off the snake's head. We have everything we need. Now, Chevalier will be expecting me. Hope. Bon voyage. About time you showed up. Sorry it had to come to this, Shay. You were a fascinating fellow. More endurance than I expected, Shay. What is this? Poison slows my heart. I have to move. I have to move. That's it. Moving keeps my heart beating. Give Liam time to leave. Soon Chevalier will be on his way to the Precursor site. I will stop him. He will see you coming. Pity. You had so much potential. Master Cormac, to what do I owe the pleasure? I was stopping to restock my ship when I heard the talented Captain Cook was here. We have a word. At your service, as always. I'm looking for a man. Captain Louis-Joseph Gauthier, Chevalier de la Verandry. The Explorer? I have heard of him and his illustrious family. I must see him. Ah, who sent him my regards? Or... Not. He sailed east a few days ago on a heading to Anticosti. Mm, indeed. I would advise caution. Oh, I've been there before. Then, I bid you good fortune. I will be sailing past Conception Bay, should you require further assistance. Much obliged. Master Cormac. I didn't expect to see you again so soon. I found a Andre's travel plans. But the devil used some kind of code. I... I can't figure it out. Maybe you'll have better luck. How strange. This is a very old cipher. I have seen it once before. I could draw you a map. 
Or you could accompany me. Help me find La Verandry. An urgent matter, then. Very well. We shall sail together again. Steady the ship! Where are they? They're within mortar range, that's all I know! Blues down! Catch some wood! We've been hit! To the last! Andre must have stayed behind to stop us. I no doubt volunteered for the job. Ready for fire, sir! Call down and clue up. Bring them up tight! Never before! What's the name? Back to their people! You have got soft, say! Convinced. The Templars are right. Convinced to the end. <gasps> you bastard! Achilles and Liam have already headed north! Hope was right. <laughs> I do make a good distraction. Thanks for your help, Captain Cook. You're welcome, Captain Cormac. Sailing with you is certainly, um, interesting. Well, trouble does seem to find us, it's true. It, tell me the truth. Are you fellows with a larger organization? The Board of Admiralty. You take your orders directly from His Majesty, don't you? We couldn't tell you, even if we were. You should have these maps. The Le Verandry won't need them anymore. We'll contact you in regards to sponsoring future voyages, Captain. Much obliged. Do you think Achilles and Liam have found the Precursor site? The world is still standing. If they uncovered it, they have not yet set the Earth in motion. How gentlemanly of them. There should still be time. Master Gist, stay here. I shall accompany Shay. Sir, with respect, are you sure that's wise? As Grand Master, I must investigate this precursor matter to the end, and witness the death of Achilles' brotherhood. If the assassins do trigger an earthquake, at least there's few around to suffer. I have no intention of letting your former colleagues destroy a precursor site, regardless.
It's beautiful if it wasn't so damn cold. Tread carefully. Some of this ice is rather thin. Go on, Shek. I will find another way. Is this the apple? No, don't touch anything. She was right. What would he know? More than me, apparently. Finally, you understand. Achilles. This is a structure to hold the world together, not a weapon to control it. This whole calamity could have been avoided if you'd only listened to me. Disrespectful to the end. Yes, we've been working on that. Right or wrong, Shay. You betrayed the Brotherhood, Achilles, and me, says the man who shot me in the back. At the homestead. That was Chevalier. I don't miss! Liam Gaunt! <laughs> Times do I have to tell you, Liam? I make my own luck. How do you do that? You bastard. You broke the assassins. Betrayed everyone you knew. You sided with our worst enemies. And for what? <laughs> to save the world. I hope that world is a good one. Why not? Achilles is harmless now. A mentor with no followers. What kind of world are we making if we cannot show mercy? Besides, he understands what these precursor sites are now. Without him, the assassins may continue their search. Valid points. Never forget what has happened here. I won't. But the world will. So what happens now? Master Gist will be in charge of eradicating any remaining traces of the assassins. Master Weeks and the others will assist him, of course. Achilles has lost everything. 
He won't dare leave his homestead. He won't. Shay, although our search for precursor sites is at an end, I want that box. You will find it for the Templar Order. And for me. It could be anywhere in the world by now. It may take years to find it. It may take your lifetime. Are you up for the challenge? Good. <laughs> Incredible. Who knew that Shay had that kind of potential? I have everything I need to complete our assignment here. One last job, Nubskull. We need you to upload Shay's story. But not to Helix. I want some very specific people to see what we have found here. Happened in Haiti, happened in Portugal. A great earthquake. Thousands dead next to your damned manuscript. Get him out of here. I want them to know how weak they truly are. And I want everyone to see them suffer. So on the day they finally meet me, they will welcome the death I offer them. She was right. What would he know? More than me, apparently. plan is in motion. I have no further demand to place upon you. However, Shay's story is not complete. I would ask that you see it through to the end. I am super impressed, Nobskull. You really came through for us. And yes, I am also a Templar. Have been for years. Once you go back to finish Shay's story, your life is never going to be the same afterwards. You should finish any outstanding business before entering your animus. Versailles, Louis XVI, and Marie Antoinette in residence. Such decadence. Good luck, Numskull. Ah, Shay! You certainly look prepared to meet royalty. Perhaps King Louis himself will grant you an audience. I doubt even these breaches will get me into the King's chambers. Besides, I'm only here to see a business acquaintance. Yes, I heard a group of merchants would be here today. They might come see my scientific demonstration later. They really should. They might learn something. Though I wouldn't count on their being present. I take my leave. Thank you again, Master Franklin. Now to find Charles and that damned box. That's him, Charles Dorian. Gentlemen, I'll protect this artifact with my very life. Arno? Where have you gone? My son, Arno? Perhaps you have seen him? Have you seen a little boy around? I'm looking for my son. You... You're the truth. 
traitor. I'm just finishing old business. <sighs> old Connor and his assassins. The American Revolution undid your Templar business. And perhaps we shall start a revolution of our own. Uphold the principles of our order, and all that for which we stand. Never share our secrets, nor divulge the true nature of our work. Do so until death, whatever the cost. This is my new creed. I am Shea Patrick Cormac, Templar of the Colonial, of the American right. I am an older man now. And perhaps wiser. A war and a revolution have ended. And another is about to begin. May the Father of Understanding guide us all. It's my pleasure and privilege to welcome you up here today. Gotta hand it to you, numbskull. You proved yourself to be more than a simple research monkey. The data you extracted from Shay Cormac's memories has served us well. Shay's story is a message. One that says that when threatened, what an assassin truly wants isn't freedom, but order. And we represent the highest order there is. Whatever you learn from your animus experience only scratches the surface. We have existed since before recorded human history and have recently been reborn, disguised as Abstergo Industries. And entertainment. You have crossed the threshold, and your eyes have been opened. You have seen the world for what it truly is. There's no turning back now. You got big plans for you. The Father of Understanding guided you to us, and for that, we are grateful. The test of your true worth begins now. And it begins with a choice. Join us, and a bright future will be all yours. Refuse.